Okay, so I'm literally going to show you guys how to make a $300 headband for only $3. If you are into boho chic style, then you definitely don't want to miss this. Welcome to Bochy Not Macrame. This is the channel where you will find all things macrame related from DIY pattern tutorials to helpful tips and tricks videos. If you guys are interested in learning macrame, then this is the go-to channel. If so, make sure you click that subscribe button and then turn on your bell notifications to stay tuned for the newest tutorials. If you're anything like me and you like accessorizing your hair with cute and trendy headbands, then you've definitely come to the right place. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a $300 headband that I saw for only $3. So this is the macrame headband that I saw from luxury brand Zimmerman, and I will be making an inspired version of it with less than $3 of materials. The style of this headband is actually fairly minimalistic, and so it is perfect for everyday wear, but if you do want to dress it up, you can also do that as well. The best part is it's made using a basic knot of macrame called the vertical lark set knot. It is very simple to do once you have mastered the vertical lark set knot. It can get a little tricky at first, but I have slowed that part of the video down so that you can get the hang of it. So definitely watch through that to see how it is done. If you guys are interested in some beginner friendly resources such as a free 50 knots and sentence ebook download, you guys can head on over to bojinot.com for more details. And with that said, let's get right into it. You can use 3mm or 4mm macrame cord for this pattern. They will have slightly different looks to it. And then you will also need a 1 inch headband. So by 1 inch, I mean 1 inch thickness at the top part of the headband right here, the width of it. You can find these headbands on Amazon or at your local department stores like at Walmart. Depending on how many you buy, I would say on average, it's about $2 per headband. The headband I'm using here is already wrapped with another piece of fabric. You can use the plain plastic ones as well. The cord I'll be using in this video today is a 4mm 3-ply cord from our Rainbow Cord line, and I'm just using our natural shade. The reason why I'm using 4mm is because I can tell from the Zimmerman headband that a thicker cord is used and so I'm using 4mm to mimic that look. You can use 3mm as well, it'll just be a little less volume. If you want to see the completed look of the headbands using both sizes, you can go all the way to the end of the video. Because I'm going to be using 4mm cord for this pattern in this video, you will need a strand of cord at 525cm long which equates to about five meters in length. And so on average, if you're taking Amazon cord prices, that's less than a dollar when it comes to five meters of cord. So as promised, I'm going to walk through the first few vertical larks head knots in slow motion. So we're going to start on one end of the headband and then on one end of this long strand of cord, we're going to pull a few inches of the cord end on top of the headband and we're going to leave about an inch of the headband on the side. Now we're going to take the long cord end from behind through the side on the left like so on top of that shorter cord and then we're going to bring that long cord end to the back of the headband. Then pull that long cord end through the loop on the front. Once you have pulled that long cord end through and tightened the knot, it should resemble a lark's head knot.
And we have now made our very first vertical wax tie knot. We're going to push the lark's head knot towards the center of the headband, so the white spacing there, we're going to pull the knot so that it's the center of the white space. Because we're going to be going back and forth making these vertical lark's head knots, it's going to start to look like a braid suit, and we want that braid to sit nicely in the middle of the headband. So to start our second vertical lark's head knot, what we're going to do is we're going to take the long cord end through the right side to the back. And then now this time we're going to pull the cord end from underneath and through the loop at the top. Then pull on the cord end to tighten this knot. So all we have to do is continue going back and forth all the way through to the other side of the pattern. As you can see this time, I've gone underneath through the back and then pulling the cord through top down to tighten again. And then the next time we're going to be pulling it upwards. Repeat this back and forth pattern all the way to the other side until you have about an inch left on the other side. Once you're done, this is what the pattern should look like. I filled the entire headband with these vertical lark's head knots. If you are finding there are a lot of gaps in between the knots, push the knots together and then continue making more vertical lark's head knots. So a special tool that is recommended for this part would be a crochet hook. If you have one handy, that's great. You can seal off the ends by taking the ends to the underside of the headband. And we're going to pull the ends through the first loop underneath the headband on the sides using a crochet hook. Now, if you don't have a crochet hook handy, all you need to do is just glue the ends to the underside of the headband to finish this part off. But if you don't want to use glue, this is a great alternative to just tuck the cord ends through the inside of the headband. If you are using the crochet hook to tuck the cord ends underneath the headband, tuck them through around five or six loops on each side. Continue finishing off this side by tucking the cord ends through a few more loops. Once done, cut off the excess cords and do the same thing on the other side. And we are now done with the macrame portion of the headband. 
Now you can leave the headband like this if you'd like, but if you want, you can add a small piece of fabric to the bottom on both sides. I'm just going to take a small piece of fabric, roll it up so that it's the approximate length of the space on each end, and then I'm going to be using glue to glue this onto the bottom of the headband. So dab a bit of glue and then roll the fabric around the ends and then continue doing that until you have a nice thickness at the bottom. Once you are finished with this on one end, repeat the same thing on the other end. And we are now complete with this macrame headband. As you can see here, using four millimeter cord, there is quite a bit of volume with this headband versus using three millimeter cord, which is thinner, you're going to see that it is slightly flatter. I think they're both cute in their own ways and you may even wanna make one of each just like I did so that you can change it up from time to time. There you have it, your very own Zimmerman inspired macrame headband. I really hope you guys enjoyed following along with this video and how you can turn a simple knot like the vertical Larsa knot into a wrapping braid like pattern that you can form a headband with. If you guys like videos like this, make sure you let me know in the comment section below and I'll try to do more of these. If you see other macrame items by big brands and you'd like me to recreate an inspired version just like this, let me know in the comment section below or let me know on Instagram at Bochina. Before we go, if you did enjoy this, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Okay. As you can see, I've made this. Ah! Congrats!